This is the field of honor outside the Airborne and Special Operations Museum here in Fayetteville. Every year during May and June, family members and friends purchase these flags in memory of service members who pay the ultimate sacrifice. You know, freedom isn't free. Just ask any member of the military who's been in combat and made it home with a battered body able to tell his or her story. It's early Saturday morning and these members of the North Carolina Patriot Guard are on a mission. They ride their motorcycles and pass out flags to honor men and women returning from war. Flag always stands up straight and tall. We don't dip it. We don't move it around. When we move with a flag, it is not furled. This is today's honoree. He's Timothy Donnelly, a young infantryman from 1st Battalion, 6 Marines, stationed at Camp Lejeune. He arrived at the Fayetteville Regional Airport to find the Patriot Guard standing at attention and Old Glory painting the breeze against a chilly Carolina sun. A year ago to the day, Timothy nearly lost his life. He stepped on an IED while on a mission, similar to this one, with his unit in Afghanistan. We were patrolling an area that another squad had patrolled the day before, and uh, we were walking past a, a point where they'd, they'd taken you know, a five minute break and, and rested for a minute. And um, basically overnight somebody planted an IED there, uh, hoping, you know, uh, hoping the same squad would come back and, and rest there again or, or something. Um, and we walked right on by it and uh, I was right in the middle of the squad. So um, basically once it, once it got to me, um, somebody who was watching us set it off. The young Marine survived, but lost both of his legs and seriously injured his right arm. He will have to undergo multiple surgeries, and there's no guarantee he will ever get normal use of that arm again. Bullets don't discriminate, and neither do uh, explosives, so uh, they'll take anybody they can. And um, I just happen to be the next one on the list. We thank you for Tim, Lord, and his recovery and his will and his family support that he has and Lord just be with him today and make this a wonderful day for him. This is called a live day. It's how wounded warriors celebrate the one year anniversary of that event that broke their bodies. It's how they demonstrate their spirit is intact and they're alive and getting better. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time from before the Marines before you know all this so uh, it's, it's really cool to get the chance now. Timothy is getting his chance to skydive. It'll be a tandem jump from 10,000 feet attached to the belly of this guy. Unbelievable. You know, who could think of a better way to, to celebrate and, and uh, get back into the swing of things? I mean, uh, just, a, just a, uh, a monumental step for him as a, as a, as a person, as a soldier, and, uh, and uh, just a great opportunity all the way around. It's a great feeling to be able to do that, and for somebody who no longer has use of all of their, their faculties and their limbs, it, it's just got to be empowering. Actually our oldest son uh, came up with the idea that uh, just get someone to throw him out of a plane. And it was actually on his list of things to do. I don't think it's his bucket list, but it's just a list. And Timothy has pretty much always pushed the limits from the time that he was a toddler. So in terms of physical stuff, but he's incredibly coordinated, incredibly capable. And so um, you know, I kind of learned probably in his teenage years that the best thing I could do was just not to look. <laughs> you know, because, yeah, otherwise, you know, I'd be doing the mom thing. Catherine Donnelly couldn't help but do the mom thing a year ago when she got word that her son was severely injured by a bomb. The mom thing was a mess. Um, and it was extremely, extremely hard to hear. And, uh, and Greg can tell you I was pretty hysterical there for the first, the first little bit. Before uh, he was even a teenager, as an early teen, preteen even, he wanted to be a Marine. So uh, in taking that route that he took, he, he uh, showed his mom and I that uh, there was something more going on inside of him as a young man. And uh, he didn't have, just have something to prove, he had something to live. The family knows Tim is physically strong, and they say he's mentally tough. His father says Tim could have easily gone to college and gotten a commission to become an officer in the Marine Corps. Instead, Tim enlisted 
and was determined to move up the ranks by first proving himself a worthy warrior. Uh, so what will be the biggest challenge uh, for a no double amputee who has limited use of one arm as he attempts his first tandem parachute jump from 10,000 feet? I think the biggest thing is going to be mental. Uh, physically, he'll be able to handle it, not a problem. Mentally, you know, to, to, to just get back outside the box and, and come up with a, with, a, with a physical challenge, a personal challenge, a mental challenge, all those things uh, contribute to, uh, to uh, you know, a little, bit of, a little bit of fear factor, of course, a little bit of performance anxiety. So I think, uh, I think it'll all be mental for him. And so the moment of truth. It'll take 30 minutes to get the airplane in place strapped to the belly of his tandem jump buddy and the adrenaline starts to flow. All right, while he's doing that, we just passed 5,000 feet, about halfway there. How you feeling? Still ready to do it? All right, just remember to smile, thumbs up, I'll see you outside. Excellent job. Excellent job. <laughs> Yo, Phil. Oh, man. Nah, not much more than that. Uh, just a huge adrenaline rush. <laughs> that was awesome. The Field of Honor is an appropriate and fitting backdrop for Tim's powerful story. You know, you don't have to wait until these flags are out here, Memorial Day or Veterans Day, to thank a service member for what they've done for our country. It's something we should and can do every day. The Gilbert Bays Report is powered by Supermix Media. I'm Gilbert Bays on the World Wide Web.